so we're gonna look at the intro here. Um, this is really, really early heavy metal. So all of our power chords are actually gonna be three finger power chords. And uh, we're in E minor, standard tuning. Here we go. So we're at a uh, seventh fret on the A string. It's an E5. We jump down to a D5, a whole step. And then we come back up to E5. And then we have some triads. Your ring finger is at nine on D. Index is at seven on G. And your middle finger is at eight on B. So this is first inversion G major. We have G, B, and D, but we're starting on the B note. They're, they're out of order. Our D is 7, 7, 7 across D, G, and B. That's A note, D note, and F sharp. Again, this is a, this is a second inversion D major chord. So we rest on beat one, and that's one, and two, and three, and four, and back to power chords. E5 slides down to D5. One, and two, three, four, and... A lot of things played on the off beats here. So the rhythm guitar keeps that going while guitar, while the, the lead guitar goes into a little melody. We're going right up the E minor scale. E, F sharp, G, A. Then you come back down, G, F sharp, E. And then uh, we slide up to nine on D, which is a B note. Jump over to eight on B, which is a G note. And then we play 9 on G, which is an E note, so you're spelling out an E minor triad. And then you have two measures of palm metered E eighth notes okay. before the verse starts. So we got two measures of E's, one, two, three, four. Our power chords are E5, G5, and A5, all based on the E string. Glenn Tipton plays these lower chords. E5, quarter note, two muted E notes. G, A, G, A, G, A. KK Downing doubles that rhythm. 14th fret on D, it's an E note. And then we have a G5 parkour for a whole note. One, two, three, four, up a whole step to A. Two, three, four. Palm metered E, open to an open G, the open G string. Then we go to an F sharp, fourth fret on D. To a B note, second fret on A. Open D. E note, second fret on D. G, third fret on E. F sharp, second fret on E. So it's all straight out of E minor. And that takes us into the interlude. So they started the same. Downey's doing three muted E's, three and four, and he's playing a G power chord, 10th fret on A, and he lets that ring over into the next measure, and then he plays a short power chord on beat two, and jumps down to the fifth fret for his D5. And so, with one guy playing a G major triad, the other guy playing a G power chord, it's very complimentary, um, and they play, they each play their parts four times, so our song so far is intro, verse, interlude, verse, interlude, with a different ending, and you'll see it in the supplemental content. Now that takes us right into the guitar solo. We're gonna look at the, uh, the dueling solos here. So he bends the second fret on G a whole step. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, so then the E rings for the rest of that measure. We slide up to 12th position E minor pentatonic. Plays 14 on G, 12 on E. Pull off on the B string from 15 to 12. Then you play 14 on uh, G again. 12 on E again. So it's like we're just going to be playing the same lick. But he fakes us out. He bends from 15 on B up a whole step in his little vibrato. And he jumps into the riff. And Glenn Tipton takes over. So we start off with two. This is all 12th position E minor pentatonic. We bend 15 on B twice. The second time is with vibrato. So it's one, two, three, four. The second measure is a little uh, loopy. We have an ascending triplet, 12, 14, 15. That's going right up E minor, E, F sharp, G. He bends 15 a whole step for two beats. And then on beat four, he pushes it a little bit extra. So he overbends, so it winds up being close to a step and a half. One, two, three, four. And then he releases the bend and pulls off to 12. One, two, three. So measure three, one, 
two, three, four. We're just doing uh, just really stock pentatonic licks here. 12 on E, 15 pulls off to 12 on B. Very, very quick bend. 14 on G is a whole step. Then you come back to 12 on B. Then 12 on E. Pull off from 15 to 12 on the B string to 14 on G. So it's, it's like a five note phrase. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. He does that twice in a row. And then there's a pinch harmonic on 14. He bends out a whole step. And then we have our last uh, seven note group starting on 12 on G, 14 on D, 12 on D, 14 on A, 12 on D, 14 on D, 12 on G. And then he slides down and he goes into the riff as Glenn Tipton takes over his part of the solo, or I'm sorry, KK Downing. And he uh, he's in fifth position because he just finished the riff. So he's bending five on A, a whole step up to seven. So he's bending from a D note to an E note. And that happens three times in a row without reattacking. Then on beat four, he does reattack. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two. Then he plays on the B string. Eight pulls off to seven. So we add an F sharp, so we slip into E natural minor for a second. That lasts till the end of the measure. On the and of four, he bends ten a whole step. And it rings over and you add ten on the high E. Pulls off to 8 on the B string, then he plays 9 on G, and he goes back into the riff. And Glenn Tipton jumps into his response. A D note to an E note, 10 to 12, four times in a row, once, twice, three, four. But then he anticipates it, he plays 10 a little before the second measure. And then we play 15, 12 twice, three times on the B string and 14, 12, two times on the G string. But that's all picked as fast as you can cleanly do it. Then we have pinch harmonic on 14 on the D string. And then he's playing 12, and that lasts for two and a half beats. He plays 12 on G, gives it a, just a very small bend to make it a little sour. And then he gives that a harmonic. Uh, he plays it twice in a row, the second one has a harmonic. Then 14 on D. Then another harmonic at 12 on G with a tiny bend. And then another unharmonic note. 14 to 12 on D. Then uh, 14 to 12 with a pull off on D to 14 on A to 12 on D to 15 on E. And that slides down. It's a slide to nowhere. Then you land on 7 on the A string. And so he's holding that note for two measures. And guess what the rhythm guitar is doing? And then we have another verse. And instead of an interlude, we jump straight into the outro. So here we are at the outro. We just finished the verse. We're coming out of... All right, so the rhythm guitar plays the intro riff. Something here. We're all having a good time. That happens four times in a row. The lead guitar plays the melody from the intro. And then uh, the second time through, he changes it. He adds those E minor triad notes, the B to the G to the E, but in the same rhythm as the rest of the melody. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, and that lasts for two measures. So that now we have an eight measure melody. The first one ending ascending and descending. The second one ending ascending and ascending with a quick descend at the end. So that happens two times. And then we have this quick little uh, right out of E minor. Palm muted open E. Open G string. F sharp fourth fret on D. B second fret on A. Open D second fret E on the D string. B second fret on A. Open D. This is a brand new measure, now all new stuff. Third fret, C on the A string. B second fret on A. Open E. F sharp second fret. G third fret. B second fret on A. G. Open. And then F sharp fourth fret on D. 
And there you go. Just for the heck of it, it's worth checking out the original. It's, it's on YouTube just to hear what they heard because that's what inspired them to do a cover and it's pretty drastically different. Um, so you can gain a little bit of, you know, maybe a new appreciation for uh, what Judas Priest is able to do. And up next is the demo and have at it. 